Climate change is widely recognised to be an existential threat to the natural world, to the well-being of our economies and to the very fabric of our societies. But whilst attention often fixates on the international negotiations, what really matters is the policies and initiatives that national governments introduce to try and achieve these reductions in emissions required to hit net zero. This can be a very challenging task for governments. Politics is a very crowded space with a multitude of issues. Things like immigration, things like cost of living crisis, geopolitical conflict. And underlying all of this is the short-termism that often accompanies electoral cycles. So how do we reconcile the timeframes over which climate policy needs to be developed with these short-term political pressures? One of the ways that's been used by many governments around the world is the introduction of national climate change acts. They set out general principles, obligations and accountabilities that governments, present and future, must abide by in order to introduce policies consistent with the idea of achieving net zero emissions. The provisions typically included in a National Climate Change Act are the establishment of a legally binding long-term target to reduce emissions, the creation of interim carbon budgets, the establishment of an independent statutory body to advise governments on their climate policies and also to maintain progress towards the achievement of the ultimate target. However, even with these provisions in place, governments still face tremendous pressures to row back or in other ways evade introducing the policies needed to achieve net zero, particularly in harder economic times. So how can university research help to address these issues? One route is through research on the politics of climate change acts. The University of Plymouth has been examining the sorts of pressures that governments face when trying to introduce policies to achieve net zero. A second route is through research that helps to make climate solutions more affordable, more technologically feasible and less politically contentious. All our work at our strategic institutes and the Centre for Decarbonisation and Offshore Renewable Energy is underpinned by a systems thinking approach which brings together natural and social scientists to develop integrated solutions to the world's global problems. Through research on floating offshore wind energy, sustainable agriculture, strengthening people's connections with nature and sustainable construction, we're providing the leadership to achieve net zero in socially and environmentally equitable ways.